Back off at YouTube and let's cook with me from start to finish. darlings you guys have been waiting for this for a while now so here goes i have some chicken thighs and i'm adding a little bit of oil salt and black pepper and i'm gonna add a few more seasonings make sure to check in the description box i'm adding some paprika for color of course you know it doesn't really taste like much <laughs> i'm also just gonna add some garlic powder as well as some greek yogurt okay add a generous amount of greek yogurt it's gonna keep this chicken nice and juicy add a little bit of pasta flakes you know for color as well because it doesn't really have that much taste and make sure to mix that in well after it's nicely combined cover it up with some clear up and pop it into the fridge for about an hour or more the longer you leave it the better it tastes I prepped some peppers and I preheated my oven to 200 degrees Celsius and now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my chicken thighs into the oven dish. Make sure you add the little oil at the bottom. This is not gonna stick because this is a Pyrex dish and it won't stick but I'm now gonna just place them in ensuring that they're not overlapping each other and I'm gonna put some of the bell peppers in the middle. It gives it lots of flavor but if you don't want to use it you can definitely leave it out. I'm also gonna cover this up before I pop it into the oven. I'm gonna let it bake for about an hour but after about half an hour i'm gonna come back and baste it so that this remains nice and juicy So this is how it's looking after half an hour as you can see there's lots of juices I'm now gonna go ahead and just baste it gently and I'm gonna leave the foil off for the remaining half an hour so it can get lots of color guys this is just gonna be so so flavorful and you can just use any chicken of choice this is it after an hour oh my goodness so so delicious Yes, my darling. So secondly, I'm just going to go ahead and just boil some sweet corn. I'm just going to wash these off whenever I take them out of the packs. Add a little bit of salt, some thyme, some garlic cloves and a little bit of butter. Cover it up and allow it to boil for about 10 minutes and this will be ready. Over here, I'm just prepping some okra to go in my couscous by cutting off the tips. And yes, my darlings, cut off the tips. It's just something we do in the island. Some people tend to keep it on. However, I don't and uh, once my okra is all prepped we're gonna crack on and make this delicious couscous
Now that my corn was cooked, I drained off the water and set it to one side. And yes, my darlings, onto the couscous. In a clean pot, add a little bit of butter and go in with your onions. Allow it to saute for about a minute or two till it becomes a little translucent. And now I'm just gonna go in with my okra. The okra should take about a minute or two to cook. It doesn't take really long. I don't want mine to be slimy or anything in this, so I'm just gonna let it go for about a minute or two and uh, i just wanted to have that nice little crunch okay the crunch to me is everything season lightly with a little bit of salt and black pepper if you're feeling fancy however i will be making my couscous in some vegetable stock so be mindful of any salt that you decide to add to this recipe okay i'm only adding about a cup and a half of vegetable stock and i'll cover this up for about two to three minutes before going in with my couscous turn off the heat mix it in well and just leave the couscous for about 10 minutes okay but make sure you turn off the fire you want that sort of residual heat to cook the couscous and this is what's going to give it that nice grainy texture that we all know and love after about you know five ten minutes this was my couscous bear in mind i did say turn off the heat but leave the pot on the stove this was the couscous done So oh, on to the best part, we're gonna plate it up, add a generous amount of couscous of course and I'm just gonna go in and add some of that delicious baked chicken. Wow, look at that, the color on this is absolutely beautiful thanks to the paprika of course. I had some leftover boiled sweet plantains from the day before, so I added a small bit on the side. Add some corn, look at my gorgeous avocado, add some on the side, you know my meals are not complete without avocado. I add a little bit of black pepper on the avocado and a little bit of gravy onto the chicken and this was dinner all served. I really hope you enjoy this easy recipe. I'm so sorry for my voice, I'm coming down with a cold but hey, I know you guys prefer voiceovers and here I'm just showing you how I serve my family at dinner time. All of us at the table eating together as a family is literally like goals for me thank you so much for watching bye bye